Hello everyone, this is Rexum Shoners Gaming here again with FTL, otherwise known as Faster Than Light, uh, with a crew that is probably do doomed to die. Which is what I would say if I were not such a phenomenal pilot. I am the best captain anyone has ever seen, and if you doubt it, you can jump off the ship right now. No one will think any less of you, you'll just be dead. <clears throat> so... We have all this scrap, but I want to visit a store next so I can either buy a weapon or something, or else I might upgrade our shields. I do really, really, really want a cloaking field. So this is a rock-controlled center. Everyone here is probably a rock person. Minute fissures on the shield spark and cackles. The ship walks into a wake of a huge asteroid. More asteroids follow, as does an aggressive rock pirate ship. Pirate ship made of rocks there we go that'll work come on get those shields up get those shields up I think your name is Kremity yeah Kremity do the job do the job Kremity I believe in you oh the shield resisted us Our shields are ion locked. All right. So now that the oh, we ran entirely out of missiles. All right, we need to repair the med bay. Our hull is really getting fucked up, man. Uh, we need to see a store sometime soon. Good thing we're perfectly safe behind our shields. Uh, I hope there's a store sometime very soon. Man, they're really kicking his ass. We're just going to keep tagging back and forth. Get in here. Oh, there's a solar flare imminent. Get out of there. Trying to goddamn click him. Alright, I think we're gonna die here. I think we are 100% going to die here. We're going to... Oh, we're not open all doors. We're gonna close all the doors. And let, uh, oxygen, uh, get back in here. Oh, solar flares, they just do damage magically. That's 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 great. I'm glad they just do magic damage. Magic damage we can't avoid. Come on! Come on! Fire, go out! Fire, go out! There is zero oxygen for you! Zero! Stop opening all the doors! Oh man, this, is, this might be short, guys. It's 
Ship's turning. Alright, well, we're almost dead. That's just a fact. We we need to take these times to repair. Oh, the store. That's that's a hundred percent what we needed right now. Fix all. Who? Buy some extra fuel. There's nothing good to buy. Um. Sell that. Let's hire this guy. He'll now be part of our crew here. He's gonna work on weapons, and this guy's gonna go work on engines. Uh, we're gonna go to our ship now. Upgrade our shield twice and our power twice, so that we can give even more power to shields. And that way, uh, we should be ready to roll. I didn't really like the Rock Empire. They were pretty mean to us the whole time. Uh, find a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Try to communicate. None of your None of your attempts to communicate seem to work, they just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures centers forward and forcibly nudges you away from the ship. Seems you, he wants you to follow him, eventually they guide you to an old NG ship crash site. Inside you're able to find and reactivate an NG. So you got a crew member, some scrap, a drone part, and some fuel. Welcome aboard, friend. You're gonna work uh, indoors for us. Give us that free door upgrade. Alright, uh, I guess off to a nebula. Alrighty, uh, we want to try to hit up as many stores as possible. Because we want to get uh, a cloaking field. It's rather beautiful here. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's go here. We want to, Like I said, we want to try to find a store. There's still like nothing around though. Alright, so it seems we've lost some power. We're gonna take some power from shields to power up some weapons. Fire our one missile at their shields. Oh man, our oxygen didn't have any power. Go fix that. We only have one working weapon. These drones are actually picking us apart. Oh man, this is not a good fight. I don't like this fight at all. At least they can't shoot us anymore. Oh, we need to knock out those shields of theirs. We're at a loss for the ability to do so. We did break one of their drones, though. 
This is gonna be tight. Alright, so now we have two weapons going, but it is at the expense of our, uh, our shields. We, the good news is we've knocked down their shields. Come on, stop missing! Stop missing! The misses are going to get us killed. 150,000% killed. Alright. So next time... Uh, there's a distress beacon. I guess we'll go uh, say hi to that. promised to help. NG crew go help them, and he did. Alright, nothing seems to be on fire. Kremity, you need to go heal up, though. So Kremity is healed. We'll take the power off, because it doesn't need to be on right now. Uh... Let me go to the exit, because there didn't seem to be any anything useful here. We need... All right. What we need is the ability to break their shields better. Uh, we might die to this thing. This thing might kill us. Good thing it's just the missile launcher that's offline. Nothing important. Can we stop missing their ship? Like, come on, guys. You guys are going to be 100% dead if we can't hit their fucking ship. We're in a Zoltan. Fuck rocks. And we're jumping immediately out of this fucking nebula. Uh... Ask if they can fix that. Amazing. Has the ability to reconstruct the bodies if it was damaged. Watch. Uh, perhaps time. Maybe we'll... Uh, sure. So we can take him somewhere? I don't know where we're supposed to take him. They refuse. Oh man, this ship looks much better equipped than ours. Alright. Uh. That. Alright, at least they can't hurt us. They have the inability to hurt us here. It seems. 
Or they can actually hurt us. We're getting out of here. Alright, store. Store is exactly what we need. Store is what we need. We want a cloaking field store. Yes, alright, so now that we have cloaking, we essentially get to be invisible for a little bit. Uh, uh, essentially, what cloaking does is so partially disappear into another dimension, providing plus 60 to dodge and temporarily stopping when enemy weapons. It temporarily stops um, enemy weapons from charging, which is pretty darn cool. Life forms. Uh, let's investigate. Land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored. Uh, try to communicate. Pray to leave. Next se sector is the last stand, so we want to go visit a little more. In danger. This might be another situation where we run the fuck away. We're gonna try out It's fine. Oxygen's at 100%. It's fine. We don't need oxygen right now. So now they can't they can't see us for short amounts of time. Uh, they're also ion blasting the shit out of our uh, out of our things there. Making sure we can't cloak very well. Uh yeah, so essentially this makes it so they can't power weapons or anything. And we have to wait for it to recharge. Alright, so now we're going to jump and go to what is known as the last stand. Uh, this is the end game. No red shirts here. Alright, you arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past the initial security and an officer shows up direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first saying, what is the meaning of this? Who are you? Uh, we're going to explain our mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Torzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Settled. Good luck. So our goal is to defend the base from this ship that is going to be going around. So we're going to start by going to the store here. See if we can pick up anything else. Um, so we're actually going to sell something. We're going to sell the missile launcher. Get a hull beam, which is now equipped. Uh... And uh, we're going to go to here. See if they want to give us some things. Alright, uh, that's actually exactly what we need. We'll take two off the shield. Oh, okay, never mind. Keep it all on the shield. Burst laser into shields, pike beam into shield. Or into everything. Actually, depower pike beam. Hall beam, I want you to fire like that. We're gonna cloak for a little bit, just so we get that weapons advantage. 
All right, I need you to go repair that real quick. You need to go repair that real quick. Everything is on fire. Go repair that or we all die. Go repair that or we all die. Oh man, we all died because we can't breathe. Uh, well, I think we lose. I think we just lose. We don't have enough people to pilot this ship. Zero percent enough people. Yeah, um, th 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 this thing might have just killed us. And we just gotta wait for it to kill us. So I guess I can't show you that, uh, that flagship. Because, uh, we're, there's no way we're living long enough for this. Goodbye, world! And that was the end of our, uh, our little quest. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Rex, signing off. Later, guys.